I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. But it feels like we are the biological bootloader for AI, effectively. We are building it. And then we're building progressively greater intelligence. And the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. And eventually, we will represent a very small percentage of intelligence. The AI is informed, strangely, by the human limbic system and all those things, the sort of primal drives. There's all, all the things that we like and hate and fear. They're all there on the internet. They're a projection of our limbic system. So, usually there'll be something, some new technology, which will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. If you had a seatbelt on, you would be far less likely to die or be seriously injured. And the industry fought this for years successfully. Eventually, after many, many people died, regulators insisted on seatbelts. People call it the singularity, and uh, that's that's probably a good way to think about it. It's, it's a singularity. It's hard to predict, like a black hole, what happens past the event horizon. It could be terrible, and it could be great. It's not clear. But one thing is for sure, we will not control it. So, it's too late. If you can't beat it, join it. We are, we are not thirsty.